Precious pearls are always a classic statement piece of jewelry, but where do they come from? Well, they come from oysters. Yeah, that tasty treat makes a pretty pearl. Oysters are small bivalve animals. They have two rough shells hinged together with a bit of ligament. Their shells are hard and 95% calcium carbonate, but shells are a little more complicated than that. They're actually like in four different layers and they grow by depositing more shell at their edges over time. So they totally have rings like a tree. Inside their shells, they have a layer called the mantle. No, not that thing over your fireplace. It's their skin surrounding all the squishy fleshy bits that you eat. I mean, sorry vegans. Basically pearls form like this. A happy little oyster is swimming along one day and a bit of food floats into his shell. Now oysters, well, there's not a lot to them, so they don't have that many defense mechanisms. So if something gets in between the shell and the mantle, they kind of just cover up the stuff with a coating of themselves. Really, they cover the food or sand in a substance called nacre, her mother of pearl, which is basically made up of aragonite and coquelin, the same pretty iridescent stuff they build their inner shells out of. And it's the same process for farmed pearls too, except a farmer has to manually place a grain of sand or whatever into the shell, and then they wait like at least six months. That's gotta be up there on the weird jobs list. So pearls are just oyster bits wrapped in food bits, uh, pretty gross, right? So oysters aren't that complicated, but you wanna talk about a sea creature that is totally complicated and totally awesome? Check out this video all about the octopus. Octopuses have an incredible ability for spatial mapping. In the wild, an octopus may go out foraging for hours, wandering and weaving through unfamiliar territory. But as soon as they're ready to go, they head straight back home and not necessarily the way they came. If you want to learn more science, please like and subscribe to Test Tube 101.